once you like have a video blow up, everybody has a story to tell you. Uh, you know, like how how has your sorting process been? Because it's like we were we were um, it took a few days before I was ready to like engage with the night doc stuff. Because when people show up that late in the game, you really have to question stuff, you know. Um, and I knew him previously and stuff like that. So it's like I, I wasn't ready to just go when Night Docs reached out to me and said that Max fucked him over. All right, we had to have calls. We had to do, we had we had to talk uh, a decent amount before we even thought about doing anything like that. Gotta be people who are just lying. I mean, there has to be. Yeah, uh, over time, much how big this is. I only talk to people who sign proof of employment for one. And that's good. That's good. Because I kept to write about a lot. And then sometimes you get sent yeah. to Twitter DMs of like very obviously fake proof. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, like, yeah, the people I speak to, it's, it's less about who's lying. I think most people are reasonably truthful. It's just like, are you exaggerating? Do you have any vendetta? And, like, I like to include that. Like, like, Wait, you like to include when people. Then why not include your work history in full and explain what happened? It seems like he knows what to do. The Jake Lowe in the movie says. Oh, Jimmy doesn't like me. I don't like him either. Oh, I hate you, Jimmy. That feels so good to say, or whatever. And a lot of people, when I sent that around, were like, "Oh, you should cut that because it hurts credibility." And I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, but it's kind of honest to his motives." So I, I left stuff like that in. Um, rumors obviously spread. So like in, in the last video, that I show one message where it's like, "Laquaya Hill roofed these multiple people." I'm like, yes. I didn't do that for anyone else. So there's potentially a rumor. Um, no fucking way. So you put it in the video anyway as evidence against one of the biggest allegations. Oh, this makes me mad, dude. This makes me really mad. If you wanna know what's fucking about here, it's he runs through the Laquay Hill stock, which is like I don't know, dude. Any I, I I mean I'm I even I think something went down. Even even I think something happened. I don't know what happened, I don't know the nature of it, but even I think something happened. I've already watched this like four times on stream. This video is so fucking bad. And by the way, if you like this stream and you haven't seen the other stream, you're gonna love tomorrow's 10 a.m. upload. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, this is the original video. Hold on. Dog pack. I, I'm yeah. sorry. I gotta watch this again. So the Laquilla Hill stuff, he's being accused of sexual harassment or sexual assault. I'm pretty sure they're more accusing him of sexual assault. Um, you like the time, the email, or after him, something like first week, some fire. I know that the magazine art is... But it's not really, it's not really, like, definitive what you leave this video thinking he did because all the testimonies that he gives are completely different. It's like water cooler uh, Chinese whispers. So he's uh, talking about Laquaya Hill. Uh, when I say verified from this recently, all right, let me talk about this right here. Just look at that paper's name. I heard so this one is acted, acted very inappropriately. Uh, walking around and we're very descriptive allegations of what happened here. Uh, put on paid leave for like a month and it was sexual harassment in this one, right? If I remember correctly, uh, yeah, you acted very inappropriately with, it sounds like sexual harassment here, made someone uncomfortable, uh, and then the next one, created global, verified employee number two, asking the same question, have you heard of any sexual misconduct at the company, they say yes, this one is sexual harassment as well, right, this one uses the word sexual harassment, and so words at the company, and who's about the employee, who's my verified, now number three, is the, the gay guy who likes to bang 18 year old straight employees. I heard he got in trouble for hooking up with an 18 year old straight assistant. Okay. Now this one, so now it goes from like harassment to now he's fucked people. Okay. Now he's roofing Funny. multiple people. Is this, which one are we on? Number five. Hill Entertainment or Mr. Beast. Yeah, LaCoya Hill Entertainment. I've heard he was fired for sexual harassment and brought back a year later. That's five or two. Point number four. Do you know who the player is? Yes. And you're aware of the case that has been covered up for some time. Explain. Essay multiple. He raped multiple people and roofied multiple people as well. Multiple people. Apparently roofied multiple people as well. I verify in point number five. Also he sexually assaulted his assistant who was straight and LaCoya was gay. So say this person is a The range here from sexually harassed and made someone uncomfortable to raped multiple people with drugs is so wide. This is like when people are, are in, like, let's say a college is, is taking 
the uh, the mean of an exam, like taking the average of it, and you have outliers, and you remove the outliers, you get a better scale of what we're actually talking about here. So this guy says, hey, sorry. He goes, hey, that's probably a weird one. And then he put it in anywhere. Hill roofed these multiple people. I'm like, hmm, I haven't heard that from anyone else. It's potentially a rumor. Um, so there's stuff like that. Did he forget he included it? His example for like. Wait, did he forget that big video? LaCoya Hill used to be multiple people. I'm like, hmm, I didn't hear that from anyone else. So it's potentially a rumor. But he has to be like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame anyone in chat who thinks this dude's fucking malicious. I think there, you could make the angle. And you can make it pretty convincingly that he's a disgruntled ex-employee who has said some true shit, but mostly throughout, like, the big stuff that he's gotten has been post-video. It just has been. And people have reached out to make him the vessel of their allegations, and now he's, like, caught in a position he doesn't belong in, trying to help these people who are trying to, like, talk about some really serious shit, and he's way in over his head. So there's stuff like that where it's like, you know, it could be true, could not be true. I'm not going to claim it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say entirely post video one because the illegal lottery stuff is compelling. Yes, it was compelling to get the foot through the door, but it's not compelling when you compare it to hired a sex offender. Like, he's not the guy who broke the fucking uh, Chris Tyson story. Chris Tyson, hired registered sex offender, and LaCoya Hill are the big three in this, in this story. And there's nothing else that even remotely comes close, as far as I can tell. Raping an employee in the, from, who worked for Mr. Beast, a registered sex offender being employed, and then one of the top guys being a lollicon freak are easily the big three of allegations, and none of those come from video one. And none of those really come from him. They're just stories that he's the vessel of producing. It's all alleged. For us to see. Yeah. Do you think this one, they're like, I send these stories, and they send him stories. At that point, like, don't you think that that kind of stuff, the LaCoya stuff, is better handled with somebody a bit more, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, someone who's done this before? I, Again, I think really hard for that. I think you should have handed this off to him. I have a good positive outcome for the YouTube community. I personally believe that all of this will be good. I think this will be good. Yeah, long term for sure. I mean, yeah. No, Nick, that's wrong. LaCoya Hill turned Chris into the monster. Are you are you making a fan fiction that the, the straight employee was Chris Tyson? And after LaCoya Hill... <laughs> That's not real. That's not real. That is that is the biggest fan fiction I've heard tonight. True fan. It's not just Mr. Beast. Nerd City should have done this interview. <laughs> so, so what do you think about gaps? Do you think we can add the gap project to our Do you think we can minty minty my gap gap before we talk about this? Don't send cat emojis to general chat. shouldn't be watching these fucking allegations and the guy who shouldn't be interviewing him right now. That 
in terms of consequences, I think will come from how mainstream all this goes. Like, what is the time set? What, how many documentaries come out? Like, is this guy, is this gonna be like Dan Schneider, quiet on set type shit? Like, is it gonna be insane? Is it gonna be documentaries on Netflix and HBO? It is pretty wild though. It's crazy to see you right in the middle of all of it. It's like, gotta be stressful. But you're chilling now, dude, you're chilling. Your body language says you're very stressed. Right. <laughs> just breathe. Uh, if you want to watch the Rex Opus video, we only watched the second half. I don't know why you would, but it's on there. You feel free to jump on it. Now, this is going to be a little less. This is more reading. This is actually <coughs> full of... Because <coughs> I don't need time to read them on screen. I'm going to read it poorly to you. Uh, so Dog Pack did an interview with Connor the day after we got into a fight on Twitter. And, he, and Connor asked him a bunch of questions. Um, that's why when somebody on Twitter was like, maybe he wanted to talk to Oompany, because he had a bigger audience. And it's like, yeah, but he also did an interview with Connor, so. I don't know. Here we go. Let's see. Where is the, the games back and forth? Uh, 